Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of comparisons. The two games that I get asked about the most, the two games that I probably make the most videos on, Wolsen, Lords of Mayhem, and of course Last Epoch. Today we're going to talk about what each of these games has delivered to their community for the 2021 calendar year, and then I'm going to let you decide which one had a better year. Wait a second. This isn't fair. That's better. We got to go right down the middle on this review. Now, before we get into it today, New Year's Eve, I have a special stream where we're going to do merch giveaways and game giveaways. First link in the description, the New Year's Eve stream on Twitch kicks off at 6 p.m. PST. Should be a really fun time. Come hang out. We'll see the ball drop. It'll be a good time. Bring drinks and snacks. All right. Wolsen Lords of Mayhem verse Last Epoch. Go. Now, the first thing we're going to look at is content updates. So what did each game give to its community in the calendar year for 2021? And we're going to look at Last Epoch first. So right now we are on Steam for Last Epoch's news. February 18th, Beta 081, release and patch notes. Now with this content update, we got a update to affixes and we got new defensive systems including this table of contents right here. 22 pages of updates for Last Epoch. Okay, so that was one. That was 081. Fast forward from, from February to now May. This is May 24th, and now we get patch 082. In my opinion, probably one of the greatest updates for Last Epoch, because this is where we got the entirely revamped Monolith of Fate. So with this second content update, massive updates to the endgame and Monolith of Fate, new challenging boss encounters, completely refreshed UI, new skills, volatile zombie and storm crows, and much, much more. The official overview was so large that they didn't actually put it on Steam. You had to go to their official website and it was 40 pages long. Fast forward from May to September 3rd, and this is the Sands of Magasa update patch 083. And this is where they start moving towards modernizing their content drops with little videos and actually naming what the update is. Kind of PoE style, right? With their new leaks. Now, with this large update, what we got with it is just like you saw in 083, a whole list, 17 pages. But now we got a new act. We got tons of new balancing. We got new end game mechanics. And again, it was another huge update, including completely revamping the Void Knight. Moving from September to now the current update, which is the Eternal Legends. And this dropped on December 10th. And again, Eternal Legends. This is another video that they use and another name for it. We got legendary items. We got a new end game system with the dungeons. We got the eternity cache. We got more balancing and we got a completely reworked druid class. Now, I'm only like high leveling, obviously, these updates because all of them are anywhere from 20 to 40 pages long. So we got four different content updates from Last Epoch and the developers 11th Hour Games for LE. Let's compare this to Wolsen Lords of Mayhem. Right now I'm on the official Steam page for Wolsen Lords of Mayhem. What they delivered for the community is three different content updates starting on April 1st with Wolsen Blood Trail. This is patch 1111 and we got some new environments, pets, damage type modifiers, Champions of Stormfall. They changed up the dodge roll and we got new VFX and monster animations. They also did some balancing. This was a fairly major patch to change up the way Wolsen really worked. Then we spring forward to May 18th. This is Wolsen Bloodstorm Part 2. And on here we got more new environments, new monsters. We got a loot filter improvements, animation improvements, quality of life improvements, bug fixing. You can see here kind of some new loot filters. They changed the way the items look a little bit with different indicators. Not a major patch, just some quality of life. 
Then the big patch that everybody was waiting for, you now fast forward from May 18th to July 26th, and this was Wolsen Arise. This was their big summons update. They completely revamped summons, they gave new environments, new skills, damage type variations, a new cosmetic armor, quality of life improvements, and bug fixing. So you can see the new animations for Wolsen Lords of Mayhem. And this was about the time that I started making build guides again for Wolsen. The game became more popular. Now, those are the three content updates for the entire year. Now, I just do want to stay, say, to be fair, that they have delayed, unfortunately, their new endgame mechanics, new endgame systems that are supposed to be coming in December. It's been delayed five times, and we should be getting this any day. Now, it's not going to make the calendar year, so it does not count for this video in the scoring, but we will be getting new endgame activities for Wolsen Lords of Mayhem. It should be any day. So really, for content updates, Last Epoch dropped four major updates that each time completely changed the game, anywhere from 20 to 40 pages of different content. For Wolsen, three different content updates. They were much smaller than what you saw with Last Epoch, but they did improve a lot of the game systems. Now what I'm going to do is play a short video from each game. Last Epoch actually recently dropped a video kind of reviewing their year. And what I'm also going to do is play the Wolsen Arise trailer for their biggest content update for the year. So you can kind of get an idea of what the two games dropped with an actual visual perspective. I am going to play them back to back. So first I'm going to play Last Epoch, then I am going to play Wolsen. Enjoy. is merciful you will serve even in death Now what we're going to talk about is non-content updates or hotfixes. Now what a hotfix is, is when they go in, change some stuff to the game, fix bugs, rebalance things. You're not getting new content, but they are fixing and improving the game. Now if you look at Wolsen Lords of Mayhem, this is kind of the average size of a bug fixing hotfix that you will see from there. Some of them are a little bigger, some of them are about this size, like for here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different things they did for this bug fixing. Now for 2021, Wolsen Lords of Mayhem, yes, I went through and counted them all, had 14 
bug fixing hot fixes. Okay. 14 times they dropped fixes to the game. You're probably thinking that's not too shabby. Okay, and here's an example of one. Switching over to Last Epoch. And this is an example of one of their hot fixes. And as you can see here, pretty lengthy. Some of them are very, very lengthy. Let's see, is there another one? Look at this one. Pretty big. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, if Wolsen had 14 hot fixes, how many did Last Epoch have? 25. Last Epoch had 25 hot fixes, bug fixing changes to LE through 2021, and I would say on average three times larger. Now, some would say, well, maybe that's because the game is more broken. Maybe. Or maybe they are really fine tuning it. It is all perspective. 14 for Wolsen Lords of Mayhem. 25 for Last Epoch, and I would say on average three times larger for each one. At this point now, even if you knew nothing about Last Epoch and nothing about Wolsen Lords of Mayhem, I would think you have a good idea about each game based upon what I explained. You could take hours and hours and hours reading through the patch notes if you want to figure out which one you like better. But what we're going to do right now is actually look at the data, look at some numbers. We're starting right now on Last Epoch's official Steam page. And as you can see right now, we're just going to look at the reviews. We're going to look at all reviews and then we're going to look at recent reviews. So for Last Epoch, it has 9,583 reviews. It is currently getting a very positive at 88%. Its recent reviews are also very positive coming in at an 88%. They are identical. Okay. Moving over to Wolsen Lords of Mayhem. This game has 56,000 reviews and then 159 recent reviews. When you look at overall, it is coming in at mixed at a 56% and its recent reviews are a little higher at a 64%. So as far as community using their voice, this is a win for Last Epoch. But what about how many people are actually playing the game? Great question. Moving over to the Steam charts, and I set this for one year. 33 minutes ago, 260 people were playing. This is Wolsen Arise. 24 hours ago, 502, and all-time peak for the uh, first month that it dropped, it had 127,000 players. Now, when you look at the one year, and you just kind of track the line, it peaked... 1700, 1300, 15, 1600. I would say it probably averaged for the majority of the year, I don't know, maybe a thousand people. And right now it is down into the 500s over a 24 hour period. Now, when you compare Wolsen to Last Epoch, and now know that this will be a little bit skewed because Last Epoch just dropped one of their largest updates, 084. So they just dropped a content update, and these numbers might change for Wolsen once they drop their new update that is coming. So we're going to have to wait and see. But if you look at Last Epoch over the one year, 2,653 players were playing over the last hour. 24 hour peak is 4,000. All time peak is 7,000. This game is not a 1.0 fully released title. It is still in early access. But this is what's important. If you track over the one year period, you will see 4,000 now, 3,000 dips into the ones, peaks back at 5,900, drops back 3,000, 32, 4,000, 44. And then you see its peak here, February 2021 at 7,200. So when you compare these two graphs over the entire year, it is not even close. It is another win for last epoch when it comes to the numbers. So that's it. You've seen the content updates. You've seen the videos that I've shown you. We talked about hot fixes. We looked at the data. We looked at the numbers. I decided I'm not going to give my opinion because you already know what I'm going to say. So I figured I'd rather just 
let you make up your mind, and I can not wait. If you watch this entire video, I can't wait to read the comments in the description. Now, don't forget, today, by the way, Happy New Year. I hope you all made great resolutions. You're ready to tackle 2022. But tonight, my New Year's Eve stream. It's going to be fun. First link in the description. I'm going to be giving away games. We're going to be drinking. We're going to be playing my favorite game trailers. We're going to be playing games, of course. First link in the description if you are looking for somewhere to watch the draw ball drop. 6 p.m. PST. If you haven't had a chance to join the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We now have over 1,300 members. Great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together. So you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is also in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this 2021 Last Epoch vs. Wolsen video. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out.